hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to bind drop down list using stored procedures with link to SQL class and here we got the final output the header tags the drop down list control which contains the employee names See here, Charan, Jack, Chris, Bumsi, Gita, Govind and Peter. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in MVC to bind the data into a drop down list, first we will check the table and the column names. The table name is the EMP table which contains 5 columns, EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and joining date. Now my aim is I want to bind only the employee name, EMP name column to the drop down list in MVC using stored procedure with link to SQL class. So now let's create a new stored procedure in the sample db database. Come to the bottom. In the sample db database there is a programmability folder, expand that one. Stored procedures, right click the stored procedures, new stored procedure. And here we got the default store procedure. I'm deleting the default store procedure create procedure. I'm adding the store procedure name. EMP name is the store procedure name. After that, the statement, I'm deleting the default statement and I'm adding our select stop from the table name is dbo.emp table. Let's add the table. After that, let's execute to create a stored procedure. And here we got a message command completed successfully. Let's check this EMP table. Let's check this EMP name is created or not in the stored procedures folder. So here we got the EMP name is added under stored procedures in sample DB database. Now let's open Visual Studio to write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Bind Drop Down List Store Procedure and Link to SQL. Is the project name click OK and from the templates I'm selecting MVC click OK and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer now in this project first I'm adding the link to SQL class right click the project name add a link to SQL class I'm adding that one I'm not changing the item name click OK and here the data class 1.dbml is added into our project now let's open server explorer now under data connections I'm adding the database name right click the data connections add connection I'm adding SQL server name is after adding my SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And here the sample db.dbvo is added under data connections. Let's expand the sample db.dbvo. I'm expanding the stored procedures folder. Our stored procedure name is the EMP name. Just drag and drop on the DBML page. And here the EMP name, the stored procedure is added in the .dbml. After that, open Solution Explorer. Minimize the references folder. Let's add a controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers. Add controller. I'm selecting MVC for controller empty. Add. The controller name is employee name. The controller name add. And here the employee name controller is added to our project. Now in this public action result index method, I'm adding I'm adding the data class one data context 
data class one data context this is object new data class one data context after that I'm adding view bag dot message I'm using view bag dot message to transfer the data from controller to index is equals to new select list select list in this method the select list method I'm adding DC dot the EMP name which is a stored procedure name comma but when double quotes the objects in our table I'm adding the column name CMP ID copy this one the column name and the second column name is EMP name this one which I want to bind to the drop down list semicolon after that the return view I'm adding the index page index view page that's it we have added the coding part in the controller now we require the view page of this index but before creating the index view page we must build the application fast build build solution and here we got the message build succeeded let's close this output message box now highlight the index action result right click that one add view the view name is index only in the template empty without model I'm not selecting any template click add and here we got the index.cshtml now let's change the header bind data from database into drop down list using store procedure link to SQL horizontal line I'm adding at the top at model I enumerable in the I enumerable I'm adding the project name MVC underscore the project name dot I'm adding the stored procedure AMP name result let's close the I enumerable list after that below the horizontal line I'm adding at HTML dot drop down list between double quotes the string name I'm adding the EMP name result comma now we are getting the data from the controller from view back dot message let's add this one as select list comma between double quotes I'm adding the default label for the drop down list employee names that's it we have done the complete coding part now before run this application we must change our controller name in the solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config.cs file open that one and notice here in the route config.cs the controller name is a home I'm deleting that one the home controller which is a default one and our controller name is employee name add that one and the action page is a view page is index only which is this one action result that's it now it's time to check the results Google Chrome and here we got the final output the head attacks the drop down list control which contains the employee names see here Charan, Jack, Chris, Bumsi, Gita, Govind and Peter that's it